What is up, Motivepreneurs? I hope you're doing great. I am so glad you've tuned in to another episode. This entire podcast revolves around you, how you can unlock what's behind your motive. The path to your deepest desire starts with the path within. You must be able to strengthen your mindset, and once you do this, you'll be able to achieve anything. Let's take that first step in the right direction now. Let's get started. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Yash again, and today I'm going to talk to you about building trust with people. This is a very frowned upon subject, and a lot of people don't take this as seriously as it should be. I want to give you a quick story on why this should be taken more seriously, and um, the story of the person that didn't take it seriously, and the person that did it subconsciously, and now will 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 demonstrate the differences right so first of all with my instagram page i had this account message me uh to create some infographics for me and lucky enough i was actually wanting to create some infographics for my page um those infographics that you see that have a ton of value on it they're like it's a called a carousel infographic i'm pretty sure so they have a bunch of value you can swipe through them and then it keeps on giving you more value 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 as you go on So I'm like, yeah, sure. It was perfect timing because I was actually looking for someone to create that. And long behold, he creates a sample piece for me. And before that, he asked me, okay, so what do you want on it? What do you what do you want on it exactly? I'm like, mate, just um, unleash your creative side and see what you show me what you can do, right? He's like, okay, sure. And I was really g'd up. I, I I was looking forward to the piece. I can't wait. Uh, I think it was about a day. and he, That's fine. He messaged me back and he's like, Yash, I've created your work. I'm like, awesome, show me. He shows me. And I'm not going to lie, it was very good work, right? It was good. It, actually, no, it wasn't very good. It was good work. He created about four pages worth, but each page only had about five, six words on it. I was like, is this your best work? And he's like, um, no, but it's only a sample piece. You're going to have to order if you want my best work. And I was just like in my head, he hasn't done a good job to build some trust. Yeah, he's offered me a sample piece. Anyone can do that. I can ask my best mate and he'll give me a sample piece, right? But I feel, I feel like as a page, as a potential customer for this guy, he should have given me his best work. He should have given me the best work he can ever create and then build my trust that way. I would have, if, I, if I had seen 10 pages with about 200, 300 words on it, oh, maybe not that much, but you know what I mean, with a ton of words, ton of content, ton of value, straight from the bat for free, I would have been like 100% go ahead. But the other thing was exactly that. He, he didn't trust himself he didn't he didn't create a creative piece of artwork piece of work that i could be really impressed with and have enough trust in him already from that one piece of artwork to be okay you you have my business for this many posts bang there you go but no i feel like he screwed it i feel like he screwed up his opportunity and um i asked him i was like can you just Show me your best work. Just one time, show me your best work. And if I'm impressed, I'll go ahead with you. I feel like that's a reasonable offer, right? It's only one more piece. And you could potentially, you're giving up a short period of time for a higher reward in the future. I feel like that's a very reasonable piece. Offering. He's just like, no. Sorry, you're going to have to, we're going to have to order it if you want my best piece. Um, And you're also going to have to give me every single word you want on it and that was the tipping point i was just like no thank you um have a good day it was the perfect opportunity for him to land me to convert on me but he wasn't willing to put in the work up front he wasn't willing to build that trust up front and that is so important 
in a deal of any kind, right? Now I want to explain a story of this guy I recently just met through a course I'm doing, and he is truly amazing. Um, now, this is the difference already. I'm going to link his his account, everything down below. I'm also going to say his name is Zahr Music, Z-A-H-R Music. Uh, he is an incredible person, and already you can tell the difference it has made from both negotiations, from both deals that we've made, um, just, from, like, just from that. I've already given him a shout out for free and he's on, like, let me just explain the story. So I've got this course that I'm doing. I met his brother, first of all. Um, his brother's just as equally as amazing. He's into psychology. I've actually recorded one with him. I've actually recorded a podcast and depending on when this gets released. It might be the podcast before this one. Um, and I gave him some really insightful tips on Instagram because he wants to start his Instagram account and he wants to go on YouTube and he's already doing so well. Um, he doesn't even need my tips. He's doing really well. And he went out of his way to... He knew I was doing a podcast and he wanted to create some music for it. And he went out of his way to create four sample pieces of of music, quality music. One of them goes for about three minutes. It took him about... I think it took him about an hour for each one just to build trust. And he wouldn't have done that out of just to build trust. He would have done that subconsciously just as a nice gesture, right? It's just out of the kindness of his heart, not even expecting a sale in return. And that's the big thing, right? Give and never expect back. He gave content to me that was oh extraordinary. I'm actually going to be using one of the content, one of the uh, pieces for my podcast and his links will be in the description every single time. It's amazing. But that's the total difference, right? I'm speaking such highly of him because of the amount of content he gave me, the amount of trust he's already built in such a short time frame. I've only known these guys for about a week or two. I just literally met this guy the other week. His brother. I've known his brother for a bit longer, but I just met his brother. I just met him recently. And already we have this much trust with each other. And that's the difference, right? I hope you can tell the difference between that. You need to give and never expect back. You need to you need to give so much trust to start with because it's first impressions count. This first impression of this designer that I had messaged me, I'm not going to refer him to anyone. His work was good. I won't blame him for that. But his mentality is broken. His mentality is broken. That's not how you land a deal. Yeah, don't get, don't get too carried away and keep giving free content, free content, free content before without asking for anything in return. But there comes a point where you need to build that trust with people. You need to build rapport with people and build relationships. Be a relationship marketer. Be a relationship salesperson instead of just going straight for the kill and asking for the money. Man, that's broken. Right, and I've, I've had to learn that the hard way many times with my Instagram account, offering promotions and that, right? I've just, when I was starting out, all I was doing was messaging them, bang, how are you? Do you want a free shout? Do you want a shout out? Do you want this? Do you want that? Not asking, how are they? Tell me more about you. Build a relationship. Right? Just like Zah has. He's amazing. He's just given me four pieces of quality artwork, quality music that I can use and he never asked for anything in return. He hasn't even asked for money. He hasn't even asked for nothing. We will be definitely working together in the future. And that's what I can guarantee with him. With his other designer, on the other hand, no, not gonna be, not gonna even message him. The relationship's broken. And that's how simple it is. That's how that's how much first impressions count. So I hope that makes a lot of sense, and I hope you can tell the difference between two scenarios. Um, I have I don't get a lot of people that provide that much value. I can only I can probably count on 
uh, probably about three or four people that have provided me so much value that I have an actual relationship with them today. Just through Instagram, right? Maybe five. And the quality of that is we will be working together in the future and we will be growing together in the future and he will get back what he has put in for four hours today back in a lifetime, right? Because that's how much that relationship is going to be going to be nurtured and um, f- grown. People don't look to the future. They look at, okay, quick one sale. Oh, cool. I'll go to the next person. See you later. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. I won't talk to you ever again. I could already tell that was the mentality of this designer that first messaged me about those infographics. He didn't care about a relationship. He didn't start asking me questions, building rapport with me, building a relationship with me like this guy is, like Zar is. And that's the difference. And people people underestimate the, the, the value of trust, the value of relationship building, the value of providing content first without ever asking for anything in return. That's the difference. I've had so many accounts on Instagram message me Saying, oh, do you want a quick shout out? Oh, can you give me a free shout out? Oh, can you give me this? Can you give me that? I, I literally, I, I will never forget this. And I told one of my best mates about it. I literally had this bloke message me and say, can I have $500? I was just like, wait, wait what? Surely this is not real. What? So I questioned, I questioned him. I was, I, was playing, I was playing his bluff. I'm like... Yeah, sure. Um, what do you need it for? And he's like, I want to travel India. I'm like, okay. Um, so why have you asked me for that $500? And he's like, oh, I just thought uh, because you have a large following, I think you're one big millionaire and you can easily afford it. I'm like, you're kidding, right? You're ridiculous. Um <laughs> That's all I said. I'm I'm speechless today, right? I I don't know what the what, when why would I ever give five hundred dollars to some random guy that's literally asked me that and nothing else? And like, that's how much stupidity I come across. Then they don't think you don't like you can't do that, <laughs> and it should be pretty self and it is self explanatory for most people, but. What I'm trying to get at is build that trust with people. If you want something, if you want something done for you, do something for them first without ever expecting anything in return. Don't don't put in a put don't put in five, six hours work worth of work and then straight ask them for like there's a level actually. With that five, six hours of work, yes, you should be able to ask for their business if they trust you. And if you if you think you have done your best work. That's the difference. With this infographic guy, that would have probably taken him maybe 30 minutes to an hour. And he definitely knows, and he told me that's not his best work. It was just a sample piece. If you want my best work, pay this much. That's not how it goes. And that's the difference between building a successful relationship and getting a reoccurring relationship over time and building upon that and just a quick one-time sale. What would you prefer? What would you prefer? Would you prefer to build a long and lasting relationship where that person will tell five to 10 of his other mates for free? Or would you want a quick one-time sale and it's not quality and it's not their best work and it's just complete and utter shit. I think you know that answer. And I hope I've provided enough value for you today to see the difference and to just change your mentality up a bit. Just change your mentality up when it comes to that next person you message on Instagram, when it comes to that next job interview, when it comes to that when it comes to asking for something from your mum. <laughs> it's as simple as that. It's relationship building. It's trust. Why should I give you this? What have you done for me? 
I, that, I can assure you that's what every single person thinks. Why, why the hell would I want to give 500 bucks to this guy? He wants to travel India. He thinks I'm a millionaire. Mate, get out of my face. Even if I was a millionaire, I would never give you 500 bucks. Why the hell would I do that? What have you done for me? Motivepreneurs, this is the movement your future deserves. We will discover how you can unlock those steel doors in the way of your success. Your mindset is what's stopping you from going to the next level. Your mindset is what's stopping you from taking action and just starting. I really hope you listen to more because this is what will help you gain the clarity you're looking for in your life. I love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.